Hey guys, in this video we will be learning about basic properties and how you can access them through code. So if you guys have ever done a 2D player controller before, which I hope you have before watching this because we're going to be building off that, so if you haven't, go check one out of the numerous that are on the internet. Um, you'll see that I have one set up right here, so what we can do is we can go into the scene and we can go play it and our character will move around. So let's say we wanted to make our player bigger. So what we can do is we can go to our player node up here, and then we can go to the inspector tab on the right, and you'll see that the player has all these different aspects to him. So he has collision, motion, and all this stuff. But what we're going to be focusing is the position, scale, and rotation degrees. So each of these aspects are called properties of the player. And for each specific node, like a timer, sprite, and a collision shape, they each have specific properties that you can edit for each one of them. What we can do with the player is that we can go to the scale to make it bigger, and we can go perhaps 1.4, and then also 1.4. And now you'll see that when we play the game, our player is a bigger sprite on the screen. While changing the scale through the inspector tab is an optimal solution to changing the scale of the player, it is also good if we know how to do this through code. So we can go into our script for the player, and we can call function ready, which means when this scene is playing, we can go self.scale equals vector to 1.4 comma 1.4. And you're going to want to capitalize that V in vector 2. So the reason I'm calling self and then dot scale is because this is the class that we are going to operate on, which is self. So it's whatever node extends this script. And then we're going to call dot, which means we can access an attribute such as a function or property of the class self. And then we'll go dot scale. And then we're going to assign it a value. So let's say we wanted to operate on the sprite instead of the kinematic body, which is the class self. We can go sprite and then dot scale equals vector 2. So now we are only changing the scale of the sprite and not the scale of the kinematic body. If you are wondering why we assign this a vector 2 coordinate instead of such as an integer or a float, it is because each property has an assigned data type. So scale is a vector 2, while others could be a string, boolean value, integer, or float. So one concept that I failed to grasp as a beginner, which I want to help you guys on, is understanding that Every single property in this inspector tab can be accessed through code. The way you can do it is you can hover over the property, such as position, <clears throat> and then you can look at what the property name is, which is underlined, and then you can just do whatever class you want to operate on, dot that underlined property. So let's say we wanted to change the color of the sprite if the up or down arrow is pressed. So we can go into our physics process, go if input is action underscore just pressed. And we can go that, and then we'll go UE up. And then for now, we can just pass it, and then we'll do the same thing for down. I'm just going to copy and paste that there. And so now that we have this set up, we can go over to the sprite, and we can go to visibility down here and you'll see this is where you'll be able to change and modulate the color so if we scroll down we can see the property modulate and then we can click on this and we'll be able to change the color of it so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to access this through code so the data type for this property is a string and there are multiple ways you can access it but i'm going to use a string for this but so right now it is completely normal let's say we want to change it to red if the up arrow is pressed. So we can go over to here, and then we can see that the string for red is FF0. So we can copy that, and then we'll go over to the script, and you can see that the actual property for changing the color is modulate. So what we can call is we can get the node sprite, because that is the class we're operating, use the dot, and then we can go modulate, and then equals, that string that we had in there. So let's say we want to turn them back to blue. What we can do is we can turn the modulate back to where it was at the beginning, and we can copy and paste this, which is six Fs, 
and then we can go the same thing again for the down arrow. We'll go sprite.modulate equals FFFF. And that's how you do it. So we should be able to go and play. And there we go. Now he goes up and down, back and forth between colors. You have now successfully changed the color using properties through code. And I'll see you next time.